today I was gifted with something wonderful. Actually, last night my sister-in-law showed up and brought me some figs from her garden. Now, we've already eaten a whole row of them. <laughs> we ate them really fast. They are probably the most delicious fruit of the season, in my opinion, here in British Columbia. These came from Vancouver. No, I think they actually came from here in Victoria. They're best when they start to split and turn into like, we ate all of the ones, this one's starting to split. The heavy, heavy fruit. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. This is probably the next one I'll eat. It's nice and heavy. Oh no, no, it will be this one. See how it's got like that shininess to it? <laughs> This is heavy and sweet and there's a nice crack to just show how beautiful it is. The inside of a fig, of this type of fig, is pink. They're gorgeous and every year I make, every year I get them, um, either from the farmer's market or from my own trees, um, I make a glyceride. And hey today, today we're, we're going, going to make another glyceride, this time with black figs. And I've frozen them so they're more squishy. So we want them nice and juicy. Okay, let me get my gloves on and get started here. So how many of you have heard about using figs in formulating in beauty products? Let me know in the description box below if you've tried a fig product. Now, let me tell you a little bit about figs. Figs are incredibly rich in antioxidants, okay? Antioxidants are good for the skin. We're just going to use a couple of these. Uh, let's use them all. Okay. Now, it's a huge, now those antioxidants are a huge reason that they're beneficial for the skin, okay? Now, I'm going to just squish these with my hands. So they're green on the inside. Check that out. Super, super smushy. Um, between pollution, makeup, and oils, our skin takes in a lot of toxins. So those antioxidants help the skin to breathe fresh life into the skin <laughs> because they help our skin. All of us are aging each and every day. And if you have tired or irritated skin, they're known as a really great DIY skincare ingredient to get your, your, um, your skin back on track. Now, to help you soak up all of the anti-aging, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory <laughs> benefits of figs, I'm going to create this glycerite to see if this is one way to take advantage of some of these benefits topically. I mean, it's just, it just seems like it might be, and we're going to just give it a go and see, <laughs> see if eating fig newtons is good. Yes, yes it is. Let's see if using it on our skin is also a good way to, to incorporate antioxidants. So let me just do another rinse. Now, the last time I did a 70-30 a ratio of fresh fruit to glycerin, and we're going to do that again because I really like how that turns out. Okay. Already, already, already. I probably made too much... Well, we'll make another six jars of it, six little jars, because it's going to have to be filtered anyway. There's not going to be a lot of weight there. So instead of using water to glycerin and fruit, I'm going to use the fruit. We're going to at least be 50%, if not more, most likely more, because of all the solids, which are going to be decanted back out by weight. Okay, so let's get measuring. Now, I don't like my medium scale, so I'm going to get my larger scale out. My medium scale is sketchy, so, I mean, as long as you're using the same scale for everything, your percentages work out, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe it half the time. All right, so we're going to measure out. Uh, 100, no, 59, 41, well, we're going to have slightly different, let's see how much we've got here first, I'll decide if I want it all or just some of it. So we've got like BAM on a hundred grams, just about. Like there's a hundred grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and leave that be. So now I'm going to uh, measure out a hundred and fifty grams. Hundred and fifty will give me a higher maybe about sixty-five-ish percentage wise hopefully it'll hold this much So I'm going to put 75 in this one so I don't have to do more dishes and then I'm going to put about half in here <laughs> and half in here and then we'll mix them together Hello, pumpkin. What you need? Oh. Enjoy. There's a little family interlude there. <laughs> So from five to 10 days is how long that you need to infuse these. And then we will strain off all the plant matter, okay? So I will bring you back when it's time for that. So I just have to bottle these up. Oops. this and just do a quick disinfect sanitize Date it. Big close right. Date. And a ratio. This is a forty sixty. Where's that? Needs to be rewritten because it came off of my sticker. 40, 60. Glycerin is always your higher number and it should be at least 50 to 55. This is probably a wee bit higher than 60, 
once we strain out the plant matter, so it'll be closer to 70, 75 in actual weight, but this is by weight and includes the weight of the fruit. All right, so that means is that it's highly unlikely that it's going to grow things, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, there's a really good reason that glycerin is used as a major component in a lot of uh, preservatives on the market right now. All right, we'll see you next time. Uh, when, and we'll see when it's time to use one of these big glycerites. It's done. Now it looks like jam. <laughs> Tastes like jam, too. Glycerin is very sweet. And these are also used for other reasons. Natural sweeteners is kind of what I had in mind with for this one. These figs are so lovely. Their flavor is like caramel. Um, so that's what I was kind of looking for is natural flavoring, possibly. I don't know. We shall see. All right, please click like and subscribe and come on back to my Sophie Kitchen anytime to learn more about beauty crafting, soap crafting, and kitchen crafting. <laughs> Bye for now.